Welcome back to RTI Radio with Eric Gaines. I'm Daniel Lewis. We're live in the Rice Buick GMC studio. Big day for Tennessee today, signing day. Big, NSD. Big week for Tennessee as well. Super Bowl, Peyton Manning coming up Sunday. We're talking five keys for Peyton and the Broncos today. Kick us off, EA. All right, here's my five things that the Broncos and Peyton Manning need to do to win the Super Bowl. First one is they need to start fast. They need to set the tone early and get off to a quick start. They can't have the snap over the head. They can't have the big snafu early that, oh, no, it's happening again. They can't have that kind of week. We've seen that here at Tennessee. We, they cannot have that play early. they got to start fast. My second one is they need to win spreadsheet football. Spreadsheet football. Spreadsheet like football. Analytics, is that what we're talking here? I'm, okay, so the turnover battle, they got to win the turnover battle. Um, rushing attempts and completions. If you have, if you go back and look in the NFL, the team with the most rushing attempts and the team with the most completions wins 95% of the games. If you then add the stat of turnover margin, it's almost 100%. The only other kicker in there would be explosive plays that just four kickoff return touchdowns and they had eight completions and six of them were touchdown. I mean, there is the explosive play factor. But spreadsheet football, turnover margin, rushing attempts, and completions. Number three, don't let up, put on more steam. I know we're used to hearing that one. Get a lead early. Carolina, has Carolina played from behind? Not very regularly this season. Definitely not a team that you want to be playing from behind against. I mean, do you think how, how do you think that game would go if Carolina – because that's my number three is get a lead early, keep the lead like they did against the Patriots – and play your football game with your defense playing your football game, allowing them to do whatever they want. Wade Phillips can play his football defense and not have to try to adjust playing from behind. I think for the Broncos as a whole, to play their game, they're going to have to be playing not necessarily from way ahead, but at least close, a little bit ahead, preferably way ahead for them. I just don't think that offense, that team right now, is going to be built to – chuck the ball over the yard, make a big comeback. That's just not who the Broncos are this season. So I think that's key. Key number four, again, we're saying five things the Broncos and Peyton Manning need to do to win the Super Bowl. Hold Olsen to two catches or less in the first Ooh. half. They've got to lock. When you're game planning for somebody, you got to take something away. You can't let Ted Ginn run this way and throw the hitch out that way and let hit Olsen down the seam this way and let Cam hang in the pocket. This, I mean, you just can't let him do everything. You can't try to take away a little bit of everything. you got to eliminate something and then deal with it if they're going to hit this over here. Take away his safety blanket, which is Olsen, and just eliminate him. He's a fantastic tight end. The good thing for the Broncos, they just saw the best in the NFL – with Rob Gronkowski. And what's going to help with that situation is getting pressure on Cam Newton. If the Broncos are able to keep seven, eight guys in coverage on a regular basis, they're going to have the bodies to commit to covering guys like Olsen. And the Panthers, they've got some guys that can hurt you, you know, at receiver, but it's not a star-studded group overall. Well, so and those, if they those, have this number, that's going to well, help. Those catches that Gronk made in – and by the way, I'm a huge Gronk fan. Not a Patriots fan, but I'm a huge Gronk fan. I think he's a fantastic football player. The catches that he made in that football game, he was covered. They were just perfect throws. I mean, Brady didn't make a lot of good throws, but the ones he made were to Gronkowski in traffic, double covered with a hand. I mean, six inches for a completion, nailed it. If Cam, and he has made those throws all year long. He certainly Olsen, can. He absolutely can, but... You get tired of looking at you. Number one's not open. Cam goes to number two. It's Olsen or number one, usually in their progressions, is Olsen often. He's hemmed up at the line of scrimmage. He's double teamed. You get frustrated. This is what happened to Brady. And then he's not open. He's not open. He's not open. You start getting out of rhythm, out of routine. Hold Olsen. You'll mess up their whole offense. My last one, last key to keeping the Broncos and the Peyton Manning to win the Super Bowl. Have fun, play loose, remember what you're there for. You're playing, a, you're playing a game. I know it's more important than that, but remember what got you there. Still backyard, football, have fun. You're playing against a team that epitomizes that. They, they need to match the, the joy on the field. Kind of. the you see fun, that with the Panthers. And yeah, yeah, exactly what they're – yeah, they just need to go have fun like the Panthers are going to do. Do you think Peyton's going to kind of 
carry that weight of some of the criticism that he hasn't won the big game enough or that this is probably his last game? Do you think that's going to be something that kind of weighs him down? Or is he going to come out there and say, I've had a just all-time great career. I've got records. I've got a Super Bowl. I'm secure in who I am. I've got a great family. i got a great life. i got a career with the Titans. After this, Sheep. with Tennessee, coaching quarterbacks, whatever it go. is. There you go. Or do you think that's his approach? Or do you think – uh, is the pressure of the moment going to get to Peyton? I guess that's my question. I don't think so. I think he showed last week that it doesn't. And that game's just as big as this one. You don't get to play in the Super Bowl if you can't win the AFC Championship game. So I don't think the pressure of the game will be too big for him. I think the, the actual schematics of the game are what's going to be tough for him. I think beating the Panthers is going to be hard. There's a reason they're favored to win the football game. This isn't like just because he got there, Peyton gets to go throw his jock on the field and go take the trophy home. This is going to be probably the hardest win he's ever had. I mean, Mike Keith said today that when Carolina came in uh, to Nashville this year, it was one of the two or three best teams he's ever seen come through there, ever. I mean, that's how good they're playing right now. So if he wins this game, not only... You know, is he did he win another Super Bowl? But he's be, you know he's beating one of the better football teams that's pl- that's playing right now. So the last time you'll be on this week, how are you feeling about the game? Uh, do you have a pick? Do you have a gut feeling? Kind of where are you with this one? I want the Broncos to win, and usually when I want something that bad, it doesn't happen. But the good thing is, is I also kind of like the Panthers. I really like a few of their players, so that you know takes it down a notch. So I feel like then the Broncos have a chance and they're so good on defense and we all know what wins championships. And, you know, Peyton, I also have a theory about quarterbacks that win Super Bowls. And once they get a little pudge, then they really start winning. So I really feel like Peyton with a 39 year old belly wins another Super Bowl. That's for all of my reasons that I could rationalize Peyton wins again. You're going to rapid fire through those one more time. Number one, start fast. Set the tone early. Number two, spreadsheet football. Win the turnover battle, rushing attempts, and completions. Have that category one. Number three, don't let up. Put on more steam. Get the lead early. Play from ahead like you did against the Patriots. Don't get down early. Number four, key to victory. Hold Olsen to two catches or less in the first half. You got to take away his safety blankets. You can't let him get going early. And number five, have fun. Play loose and go get the ring.